Welcome beautiful people, I am Chef B. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we'll be styling this hair from omgherhair.com. And this will be a installation video and a quick review. So this hair is a Yaki Texture 360 wig. And this is how it's looking straight out of the package. Now it is straight and I'm just doing a little shed test. I have not seen any shedding with this wig thank god and also the texture is so nice in terms of it being yaki texture it's almost giving me like a relaxed perm type of natural texture and the wig came pre-plucked and the knots already bleached for you so you don't have to do much of anything at all so as i said it's a full 360 and i got it in 20 inches and the density is a hundred and fifty percent so it is a center part so i'm gonna just leave it as a center part but in terms of the frontal even though it's already pre-plucked i want it to look a little bit more natural so i'm not gonna go overboard with the plucking it's just gonna be a light plucking especially in the very front i just want it to be a little bit more natural so i'm just going to show you guys how i do my plucking method so um it's pretty simple i do it do the same method with all my wigs and yeah so i'm just going to show you guys like the difference between the plucked side and the unplucked side of the wig Now that I have finished my light plucking, I'm just going to make the lace look like natural scalp, like close to my complexion as possible. So what I like to do is instead of using the lace tint, I've been using foundation powder recently and I think I like the results better. Like you guys tell me, but I feel like with the foundation, some people use actual liquid foundation or concealer. I'm a little bit scared with that because I feel like it's gonna make the lace look a little bit caked up, especially if you don't know how to use it properly and I don't. So um, on the safe side for you, I think it's better to use like a powder foundation. So to install my wig, I'm gonna be using the got to be freezing spray. This is my go-to, especially since I don't sleep in my wigs and I don't want it to be too much stress on my edges. So I don't use like the typical strong ghost bonds or the super glues. Like I don't do none of that. If that's your thing, you can go ahead and do that. But I like my wig installs to be as light as possible so that it is easy to remove without causing any type of damage. So this is basically my method. I just work with it. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of lifting even though I have tapped down certain parts, but I just want to make sure that I get as much of the lace off as possible. So with doing my frontals, it's like a trust the process type of thing. It looks a little bit crazy in the beginning, but trust me, the end results is spectacular. Well, not spectacular, but as best as I can get it as someone who isn't a professional. So I'm going to leave you guys to see how I do that. I do a little soup to the dupe on the side. A lot of people do not like um edges on their frontal or that extra soup to the dupe that i like to do it's my thing i like it you don't have to do that you can just like lay the hair all the way back so what i'm using is some mousse to do the edges of the frontal but like just brushing it back and then tie it down with the bonding wrap also works perfectly so it's all about what your preference is and what kind of end look you're going for now this hair is silky smooth i'm just gonna use some um tamer some taming wax to make sure that i don't have any flyaways at my party and guys as you can see i didn't do much of anything in terms of the lace already being like it's already bleached for you the knots of the lace frontal so if you're a new wig wearer or you're not that you you just can't customize your wig wigs that well this is a fantastic wig and the flat ironing of this hair is great like it's easy to flat iron it's easy to style it's a lightweight as i said it's 150 percent density so it's not heavy and it's just silky and freaking bomb like i am loving this hair this hair is giving me like some city girl south miami type of vibe like this is some real hot girl shit you feel me so yeah, so this is the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think. 
I'm just giving you guys a little test to see how free flowing the hair is. Like it's easy, it's movable, and it's just bomb overall. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet, go on ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at DamnBatsChev. All the information that you'll need for this unit will be in the description box below. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Go on, big up on yourself. Bye, guys.